The Asheville tourists haven't exactly been world beaters at home, eight and nine so far, which is why they're two and a half games out of first. But tonight, T's get a chance to change that around, hosting the team with the worst road record in the South Atlantic League, Greenville. T's had extra support from the Lester Lugnuts Little League team, enthusiastic. And with Eddie Butler on the hill, a lot to cheer about. Top draft pick, terrific again. Seven strikeouts, seven in the third innings. In the second, after Julian Yan reached on an error and stole second, Matt Argaropoulos, the Golden Greek, hits one into the hole in right. Matt Taroshi can't field it completely. Yan scores easily, one nothing. The only big threat in the second, a man on second, no problem. Strike three swinging. Tourist pitchers combined for a two-hit shutout. Asheville wins, one nothing. Second round of the prep soccer playoff wrapping up tonight as three area teams planning to it, playing to advance. In 1A, Hendersonville keeps rolling. They're going to host Thomas Jefferson on Wednesday. And in 2A, it was Polk beating Brevard 4-1. to one. They'll play at South Iredale in the third round, which starts on Wednesday. Jeff Frady is coming home, and Inca High School is happy about that. The Inca alum was named as the Jets' new football coach today. He replaces Manny Matsakis, who left earlier this spring after taking a collegiate head coaching job in Kansas. Freddie, an Inca alum, class of 96. In the last 13 years, he's been at North Henderson and most recently at East Henderson, where he was offensive coordinator for the high-flying Eagles offense, but he still lives in the Inca community. Now, the Jets only won five last year, not 500, but it was their best total in 12 years. Freddie knows it's a challenge, but he's happy to be home again. Excited about the opportunity to, to get to come home to uh, the place I went to high school. Uh, we live in a special community here that, that's always been um, a, a big part of, of uh, the football program. And, and in a win or lose, they've always showed up. We want to create an atmosphere where, where we can contend in every game, like I was telling the kids earlier. And uh, we want to make a, a football program that the, the, the school and the communities proud to be a part of. Well, Western Carolina Catamounts are back on top of the Southern Conference and baseball and cracking the polls too. I had everybody at Western jumping for joy Sunday as they completed a series sweep of Wofford at home, taking two on Sunday in a doubleheader while Citadel lost. That gives the outright title to the Cats their first since 2007. They'll have three at App State later this week. In the following week, it's on to Greenville for the Southern Conference Tournament and the nation is noticing. Western debuted at number 29 in the Collegiate Baseball Newspaper's NCAA Division I rankings. That's the oldest college baseball poll going. The Catamounts 36-17, and 21-6 and in the SOCON. Congrats to Western Carolina Baseball. They are coming back.